Instrument introduction. TYMS series natural electric field water detector uses the natural electric field as the working field source. It is an electrical exploration method that solves geological problems by measuring multiple electric field components of the natural electric field with different frequencies on the ground, based on the conductivity difference of underground rock or groundwater, and analysis the abnormal changes caused by different geological structures according to the changing laws of the electric field. It is called the natural electric field method. Because the method measures the electric component of the Earth's electromagnetic field, lightweight instrument and simple operation, the data collected by the instrument realizes the automatic presentation of curves and profiles through the unique built-in computing function of the instrument. Based on the profile, you can clearly understand the geological layer structure and quickly determine the ore bodies or layers, cavities, karst caves, and water levels aquifers. And other specific information. Now, taking TYM600S model for example, the main components of the instrument include host, electrode handle, electrode rod, cables, type C charger, host strap, global conversion plug, wiring, stretch the wiring in a straight line with tape in the target area, and mark the start position and end position. Assembling the instrument, installing the strap, connecting the main connector of the cable to the host aviation plug, and connecting the electrode rod to the handle. Long press the red power button to enter the main interface, displaying six options: line test, new measurement, file management, settings, service, device info, line test. Put two electrode rods together and long press line test. The test light light up indicating line connection is normal. When starting the test, insert the electrode rod that close to the host machine into the zero meter of the tape, and insert the electrode rod at the other end into the ten meter point of the tape measurement line. Every time when finish measuring one measurement line and need to measure the second one. Need to create a new measurement line number. Click the equilateral triangle line button on the measurement line key to increase the number of measurement lines. If need to check the previous one, then need to click the inverted triangle on the measurement line button to find the course. It is recommended that each measurement line has about 20 measure points. Parameters: appropriate measurement depth can be choose according to the needs. Gain. When the measurement value is generally too small or a large area of zero values. Appears suggest to adjust the gain plus one level or plus two level amplification. After the parameter setting is completed, click OK to start data collection. It is recommended that every time electrode rod is plugged in, press line test first to determine that the grounding is good. The test light must be turned on before taking sampling measurements. Click the sampling button to collect the first point. After the data collection is completed. The instrument displays that the collection is complete with a prompt sound. Notice the data collection of each measuring point is the center position of the two electrodes. The first point on the profile is five meters above the tape measure. Next step, we move the two electrodes forward two meters at the same time and click the sampling button to collect the second point. After the sampling is completed, the instrument will display sampling is completed. The second point is located seven meters on the measure tape. And so on. Repeat the above operation process. After the entire measurement line is completed, click draw to view curve graphs, profile graphs, 2D and 3D graphs switching, raw data and process data curve graphs, and profile graph switching. Click the save button to import the measurement results to the SD card for saving. Precautions: One, the instrument is not waterproof. Please do not immerse the instrument in water or operate it in the rain. Two, do not use it during thunderstorms weather. Three, handle the instrument with care and avoid bumps or hits. Four, keep the battery fully charged even if it is not used for a long time and charge it at least once a month.